Alright, hello guys, and welcome to your third Winter Storm Maya forecast. Today we're going to be talking about this Winter Storm going over the precipitation type and then snowfall forecast according to the models and then my official snowfall forecast where we've tweaked some of the amounts for the northeast. We've changed the location a little bit and also we've upped the amounts for some areas, so stay tuned for the end of the video for that. Uh, but let's get right into it. We're going to be looking at our European precipitation type here. Uh, and you can see there's some snow showers for Ohio and Pennsylvania here. Some some moderate showers it looks like in there. This is uh, so, this is tonight actually. Uh, as we see those showers enter the southwestern portion of Pennsylvania. We're going to move on another 12 hours. I'm always moving on 12 hour increments. So think about what happens in between these 12 hours uh, that can transpire. Uh, as you see, snow is still in the southwest Pennsylvania area, so we can assume that there's been some off and on snow for 12 hours, which is quite a bit. Uh, and this is kind of like the the little um, storm that hits before the big one, as we have this little bit of a snowy system head in, and then and then we have a, a much bigger one by the time we hit Tuesday. I just wanted to mention that this quick one hits Pennsylvania, Maryland, and New Jersey, and we kind of take these amounts into account, too. We're counting this as the big storm. Uh, so by Monday morning, we have snow still here for the southern states of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Uh, and then by Tuesday or Monday night, we kind of have the same story, but this is the main low pressure system heading in. But it's going to be like continuous storms or snowiness for south southern Pennsylvania, really, in northern Maryland. We're going to move on another 12 hours to Tuesday morning. You can see some ice moving in for the western portion of Pennsylvania as well as the Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia area. But New Jersey, Pennsylvania, we're still snowing. So it's been snowing quite a bit there for the southern portions of the two states there. So we're going to have some accumulations already starting. Uh, and then we see the ice and rain move in for you guys, and, and really a lot of ice there for Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, your halfway uh, snow and ice. We're going to move on one more to Wednesday morning. And you can see we've moved over to rain for southern New England. Now, again, I do take all of this rain into account in my snowfall forecast, and I'm even going to show you the snow depth forecast by the European, which also takes the rain into account. So we can take a look at the final amounts that everybody's going to have. Uh, now we see that it's still snow for upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire. We see kind of in between the two states there's a river valley there and that kind of stays uh, where it gets kind of icy there and I'm going to take that into account as well as well as the coast of Maine. But we still have heavy snow inland there. Uh, and then we see things move out by third or this is Wednesday night. We've seen, we've seen everything kind of move out by this point. Still snowing there for northern Maine but uh, 12 hours from there we've already moved uh, out. Now, looking at the snow depth forecast by the European model, and don't pay attention to those super high amounts there for northern Maine and New northern New Hampshire. This is snow depth, so this is also snow that has fallen all winter. Whatever's on the ground is also being taken into account. So if you already have snow on the ground, uh, this is just going to be your final total once the snow falls on top of it. Your snow pack, I guess you could say. Uh, but we see northern New Jersey, we're above that 2-inch mark, and the southern New Jersey, we're in that 1-2-inch to inch mark. Uh, same story for Maryland, kind of the D.C. area. We're around that one-inch mark, but whereas uh, northern Maryland, it ranges anywhere from about nine inches down through two inches, depending on if you're in the light blue or in the purple-pink color. Uh, same story with Pennsylvania. We kind of have those amounts that exceed uh, 10 inches in some areas. It looks like or approach 10 inches at least. As far as snow depth is concerned, southern New England, you're all in that one to three inch range. Boston, you're in the, you're look to be around three or four inches. So even though it's going to rain, guys, don't get discouraged. It looks like some accumulation will be left afterwards, according to this model. So this is very good news for you guys. I, I know a lot of you were getting discouraged uh, seeing that there was rain for a long time, but it looks like there's still going to be some snow on the ground for you guys, according to this model. And I believe, uh, taking it into my account, or my forecast has taken it into account as well. Uh, so here's your snow total by the European model, and you can see uh, we have a lot of those uh, approaching 10 to 11 inches there for southern Pennsylvania, but really I think we're going to be under 10 inches for you guys in Pennsylvania. Uh, I wanted to mention that there's that very, very, very uh, heavy, heavy snow there for the Adirondacks of um, New York, and, and I really think that that's where we're going to have a uh, have to put in a 15 inch plus section right there, but the 10 inch amounts extend all the way through central Vermont and then from the White Mountains of New Hampshire through the northern portions of Maine uh, and, and Boston you're gonna see about six inches of snowfall I think a lot of the, uh, the hilly regions of Massachusetts are gonna stay in the six to ten region as well 
Uh, and then here's your GFS. This is kind of all over the place. It's kind of a more low resolution model, so you, we tend to see this happen. But really the same story here. A little bit of heavier amounts there for uh, for Massachusetts and some portions in New York. But in the snow depth forecast, it's all the same uh, according to both models. Now here's my w official snowfall forecast for you guys. Nothing has changed for the western portion, so I'm not going to actually mention you guys. I know you guys always get mad when I don't mention it, but you can see it on the map here. Um and nothing has changed so it's the same as last uh, yesterday's forecast for this storm uh, whereas I've kind of tweaked the locations here in the northeast and you can see that purple region we're gonna get into that in just a minute but your white section you're looking at a dusting the three inches that light light shade of blue that extends from Ohio into Pennsylvania into Maryland and West Virginia up through New Jersey and southern New England that's three to six inches that dark darkest shade of blue medium shade of blue that's six to ten inches that extends from south central pennsylvania up through upstate new york into massachusetts vermont new hampshire and coastal uh, maine and then we have our dark shade of blue that's where we're expecting 10 to 15 inches of snow from upstate new york through vermont through new hampshire and through northern maine and then we have our little section of purple and that's where i've upped it to 15 to 20 inches there for the adirondacks of New York because we're looking at heavier precipitation to move through and it looks like you're going to stay all snow. So we look like we're going to have to up you guys to 15 to 20 inches. If this storm continues to show more intensification, more intensification, some more new areas are going to have to be upped into the 15 to 20 inch range. And if this trends south, a lot of you are going to get a lot more snow. So just stay tuned. We're going to have more forecasts on this one. Subscribe if you haven't already as we're going to continue to track this storm and we're going to track future storms as well. So subscribe if you're interested in that. Anyway, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.